So this is the Display 123, a new screen calibration device from Calibrite that takes the confusion out of the screen calibration process and simplifies the process into three very simple steps. But before we get into how we use it, it's important to mention who this little device is actually for. Now, a lot of monitors out there, unless they're specifically made for photographers, like my BenQ SW272U, are set to make video and other graphic content appear brighter, more contrasty, and slightly cooler and bluish. If you have multiple monitors, you might see that the same image looks slightly different on each. And this is why calibration and color management is so important. Now, if you've seen any of the content I've shared over the past weeks, months, and years, you'll know that I not only do a lot of editing of images, but also a lot of printing. So for me, it's vitally important I'm able to calibrate the monitor I use, and when doing so, to set all kinds of parameters, like specific luminance value or brightness level of the monitor, the color temperature, the black point, color space, and so on. Also that what I edit and see on my screen matches as near as is possible to what I eventually print onto paper. So with all of this to consider, the Display 123 is not actually for me. The calibration device I use needs to offer more, which is why I use the Display Pro HL. And because it can do more, understandably, it comes with a bigger price tag. The Display 123, though, doesn't offer all of the bells and whistles of the more expensive calibration devices, and so has a smaller price tag. And because of this, the Display 123 isn't really for, I guess you'd say, professionals and people who, who understand the importance of colour management, and it forms a big part of what they do. However, it is for everyone else, because no matter what we use our computers for, colour, and when I say colour, I mean accurate colour, is really important, even though we can take it for granted. If you like to edit photographs you've taken, you're still going to want to know that the colours in the photographs are as accurate as is possible to what they should be. If you're into gaming, you want to get the best possible viewing experience to immerse yourself into the game just as the makers intended. Internet shopping continues to become more and more popular and widespread, not least because it's so much more convenient. But if you're buying clothes or maybe even home furnishings, you're going to want to be confident that what you see on screen is what you get delivered with regards to the colour of whatever it is. Basically, any time that colour accurate viewing is important to you, this is who Calibrite have made the display 1234. The display 123. Four, and they've made the process of using it ridiculously easy by removing all of the technical jargon that understandably can be confusing. So anyway, this is how we use it. You plug it into your computer using the USB-C, and then you'll see that it's powered on because of the flashing light on the top. Then open the Calibrite Profiler software. When you do, the software recognises that you'd have the display 123 plugged in, and then after a few seconds, we start step one of the three-step process. In the centre here is where you'll see your monitor listed. Now you can see I have two monitors connected, the BenQ SW272U and the BenQ PD3420Q. Now, two is the maximum amount of connected monitors that the Display 123 can deal with. So if you have more than that, either disconnect one of them, or you'd need to use a more advanced calibration device. So I'm going to calibrate the SW272U, and we can see that the icon for it has a yellow outline. If I wanted to calibrate the other display, I'd simply click on it, but I'm going to stick with the SW272U. Underneath, we have native or photo, and this is referring to the luminance, or keeping it simple, how bright your monitor will be following the calibration. If you choose native, then the display brightness will remain exactly as you have it already set. If you choose photo, then the luminance or brightness of the monitor will be set to 120 candela, and that is as technical as it gets. So then we click next. In step two, we just need to position the display one, two, three on the monitor screen. And you can see here we're instructed to angle or tilt the monitor back a little 
so that the display 123 can rest flat on the surface. In the packaging we get this counterweight that we thread the cable through so that we can then adjust it to help support and hold the device in place. And when we put it on the screen surface, we position it in the center of this graphic and with the lens towards the screen and the top of the device with the flashing light facing outwards. And that is step two. Now we just have step three, which is the measuring process. So I just click on measure. And it starts automatically, which we can see with the color variations coming up and the colored progress bar at the bottom becoming more saturated as more of the colors are measured. Once it gets to the end of the colored bar, the measurement process is over. And this takes roughly five minutes. But I'll just now speed the video up to get through this part. So when the measurement process is finished, the software gives the resulting profile a name, but this you can change if you want to by simply clicking in the text box and typing whatever you prefer. You can also set a reminder of one, two, three, or four weeks for when next to do a calibration. And rather than a pop-up appearing when it's time, you'll receive an email, which is why you need to put your email address in here. If you don't want a reminder, just choose none and then you don't need to add in your email address. And then click Save. You'll then see this before and after view, which automatically switches so you can see the difference. And that's it, done. So just click on Done and then quit, unless you want to calibrate a second monitor. So that's the display 123 from Calibrite, which like I said, isn't really aimed at the professional, people who have an understanding of colour management and calibration and for who it's a vital part of their workflow. But it's more aimed at the everyday person, the person who uses a computer and for who, without maybe even realising it, colour accurate viewing is important because no matter how new monitors are, they don't always display colours accurately.